Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Belinda here from Visualize DNZ. It's a glorious Monday morning here. Uh, we've finally hit the warm weather and I'm super happy about that. It was just, I was so over the cold and I don't know whether it's going to stick around. It is still spring so it's a bit, um, a bit changeable still. Uh, today the forecast is for a stormy conditions in places with isolated chance of tornadoes um, I don't think we'll get any but you know we'll see um, so yeah it's just super beautiful and it is the last day of the month of October I can't believe it and it kind of hit me a little bit um, unprepared I guess because I have not got a journal ready for November so I've already started this uh, because I just wanted to cover up the brand names on this bit of package, um, not packaging, sorry, um, this brochure. It's made out of a lightish cardstock and this is what I use to make a lot of my journals. And so I wasn't really sure what I was going to do for my journal for November. And then uh, I saw an idea that Tanya Bomar did um, on her channel. She's Tatty Treasures, and um, as part of the whole book challenge that I've been participating in during October, and I thought that's what I'm going to do for my journal cover. So what it is is using book pages to collage up. Um, she was doing it onto other book pages uh, for use as whatever you'd like to use it as, but I thought it would be really nice to do that as a journal cover. And I am going to take the time to ink, so I'm sorry if that really annoys you, um, the time that it takes. But it does make a difference to the look. Now, Tanya wasn't inking, um, but because this is a cover in particular, I just want, I'm going for a certain look, is what I'm trying to say. And I think the inking will just give it that point of interest um, over and above the different text. So come along and join me on this uh, little collage exercise. Um, grab some and do some yourself. If you've got a pile of book pages, um, then grab some in and get busy with me. Maybe you'd do a journal cover as well. And you don't have to use uh, this something like this brochure. You could use um, scrapbook paper, a bit of scrapbook paper perhaps that you don't like. Um, or one that you like the other side of and just leave the other side as the inside whereas I will most likely collage the inside as well I am wrapping the pieces around to the inside yeah and just join me in doing this you can make the pieces as big or as little as you want um, I'm just being random so I'm starting off with perhaps bigger pieces and there will be some smaller pieces it also depends how big your pages are that you're working with. Um, I've got a variety of different page sizes here, um, down to some quite tiny ones. There's a dictionary page here, which is really, if I can find it, it's really cute. Like, that's, that's the size of the page, fits in the palm of my hand. Um, so, you know, that's going to end up being smaller, isn't it? I'm also not being at all particular about the direction. In fact, when I say that, I probably am being particular. I'm being particular about mixing it up, making sure they go every which way. And also mixing up the colours of the book page. Um, I've got all sorts of different colours here. Um, I'm not sure what the oldest book I'm using is. I know there's some from the 50s. Some from the 60s, some from the 70s. Um, I think there's there's a Greek sort of, um, what do they call it, travel guide or something. It's got phrasing in Greek and English. Uh, I'm assuming that's a lot more modern, like sort of 90s or 2000s even. So I'm just using whatever I've got. Um, just keeping a mindful eye on sort of what's on the pages because I don't want to end up with things that I don't want to see, uh, be it bad words or um, talk of 
something yucky. So I just need to go across the, the spine here. So yeah, so that's what I'm up to today. What are you up to today on this beautiful day? Well, it's a beautiful day here. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. Um, the unfortunate side of this beautiful weather is that the flies are out in force. So if you hear the blowflies, um, I do apologise. I have got a spray unit going down the hallway. Um, but they often get past that because they're flying so fast. And I've got the bedroom window open at the front of the house. So they're just coming in the window and yeah. Being a right pain, I seriously loathe blowflies. Well, any fly really, but particularly blowflies because they're, they're noisy and gross and they bug you. And we've had a wasp in today as well. I assume it must have also came in the window. Uh, my husband got took care of a wasp yesterday, so the wasps are out in force as well. I was watching one out through the French doors beside my desk here this morning and it was looking for, I assume, somewhere to make a nest. It was like, go away, go away, go away. We've had a wasp nest before beside the French doors and it's not fun. Uh, and you've got to go through that whole rigmarole of getting rid of the whole nest and the best way to do that is poison, unfortunately. Don't like poisoning things but um, you know when they're in a crevice that you can't actually access you haven't got a lot of option so I was like go away find somewhere where you're not going to be a problem to build your nest so we don't want it in the essentially the wall of our house again that's not good and the noise the droning of them in their nest is it's quite loud at various times. And of course being right beside a door, then you can't open the door because they, they just fly inside. So yeah, really hoping they don't decide to choose our house again. It was a few years ago when they um, did that. Unfortunately we haven't had any since, but it just makes me nervous when I see them outside hovering around all the little crevices outside on the walls because we've got an old house and the outside is old of course which does mean that there's all sorts of crevices uh, that you don't get so much on a modern home yeah i'm talking a lot today aren't i i'm i'm feeling really happy in a really good mood um just excited for this week uh got a lot a lot of things to do like seriously a lot of things so i'm trying to stave off the panic sort of feeling and um just yeah just keep keep going uh because that's the only way that these things are going to get done is if i just keep going and one step in front of the other one foot in front of the other and just work through everything i've got to do and the big thing I've got to do is ready, getting ready to launch Patreon, which I'm aiming to do tomorrow. And it's so exciting. I'm really excited about it. I mean, I'll, I don't know if I'll get anyone signing up. Um, that's, that's the possibility, and I think it's quite a high possibility. But I've still got to have everything ready just in case. And I'm excited about it. It's new, it's different, it's challenging. I'm having to do, you know, a bit of a learning curve on how everything works and what I'm supposed to be doing and and trying to work out whether my tier awards are um, fair and suitable and achievable for me um, because if they're not achievable, that's um, not good. So, yeah, it's, it's a big thing. So I am... Just, yeah, being, trying to be really careful about what I choose there. But have, getting it ready to go live tomorrow. Um, and I've still got so much work to do. So that's, that's part of my 
adventure at the moment, I guess. So this is in no way saying, please, please sign up. Um, I don't want to be that person. I just want, but you do need to know it's there in case you do want to join. Um, otherwise, how would you ever know? So I can't not mention it. And I can't not mention it also because, like, it's a big thing in my life right now. It's a new new journey, a new part of this crafting adventure. Um, it's important in my life and therefore I'm natural I'm going to want to you know talk about it from time to time and I have had so much fun putting together some of the printables for the first month um, I had and for that I was learning a new software and learning how to use it and all sorts of things and so yeah just learning curves all over the show for me in October so I guess that's where the month has gone and why I wasn't prepared for the change of the month tomorrow because I've, I've like been absorbed in all this background work. Right, let's go for it. This cute little dictionary page. Put a bit of that on. And I want torn edges. There is a, the odd place where I've used a straight edge where I know it's going to be covered up. But... Usually I'll tear them because I don't know precisely which parts will end up covered and which won't. So I find it's better off just to tear them all, ink them all, and then whatever's covered up, well, it doesn't matter. Um, rather than getting a bit that's not covered up that you should have torn or inked beforehand. So I do apologise for my arm coming in under the camera. Um, all the time to glue. It's just the most comfortable way for me to work. And I've got my arm spear for the first time, I think, um, since I started YouTube earlier this year. So that's kind of a bit freaky too, to have my arms flapping around everywhere. Bit new, bit different. Right, I'm really loving this. I think it's a cool, cool effect. And what I aim to do is to dress up the front, um, this will be the front, is put a colourful image on the front. And I did mean to grab out the book that I was going to grab it from, um, and I forgot, didn't I? So I might have to pause the video, if we get time, pause the video and go and grab that so you can... Uh, see me choose an image because I haven't I've chosen the book it will come out of I just haven't quite chosen the particular image I want to use um, so if we get time we'll do that and then I will finish off the rest of the journal putting the pages in and things off camera um, I've done that a few times on camera so if you haven't seen that and would like to um, then I'm trying to think what the videos are called there's the one for I did at the end of September, making the journals for October. So I'm pretty sure I did it on camera there. Um, and then there's another one, or probably at least one before that. So if you flick through, you'll probably find them um, in, my, in my lists on YouTube. Right. which way this is going to fit the best let's go that way uh, this page I've got here is super cool um, it's from the 60s I think um, yeah 1966 my husband bought me a whole bunch of um, magazines from an auction site here in New Zealand it's called Trade Me now all from the 60s I think I believe um, they were published once a month and they're called stamp news and so they've got uh, really cool fonts uh, black and white images of various stamps from New Zealand and around the world um, or generally the South Pacific I think but sometimes world stamps um, and just really interesting graphically uh, super thin paper but that's okay and just, yeah, really, really fun to add it, all those different things. Like here it's talking about Poland and Monaco or Monaco, depending how you pronounce it. 
um, yeah so just really really interesting bits and pieces so it took me a while to decide whether I was going to scan them um, like parts of them are scannable because for various reasons um, or whether I was going to use them for collage and I, so I asked my husband Shane and he says you know it's like do I rip these up and he says you do whatever you want with them because he bought them for me to use and however I like so that's kind of like the permission I was looking for that it was okay to just go ahead and, and tear them up because um, if he bought them for me to keep in you know as some sort of memorabilia or something then I didn't want to be ripping them up and sort of ruining his gift if you like but no he said just go ahead and do whatever so I may not rip the, all of them up I think there's about 10 or so but I, so I grabbed one had a brief look and thought yep this one I am happy to rip up some of them have got really cool articles and like historical articles of what was going on at the time so I might be more inclined to leave those intact yeah I buy um, not very often but lately I have got quite a lot of books and things to use for collage and then sometimes I can't bring myself to because they're so cool and I just love them how they are hope you don't mind the sound of the tearing either it's possibly quite loud in the uh, camera my little rubbish containers filling up quite quickly put this sideways I think I keep scanning what I've done it's like oh have I missed inking something but no I'm all good so far so yeah, so busy week. I've got um, I've got to go out Wednesday. I'll be out all day because I have an appointment for my eyes um, to get those scanned, which I get every, done every two years. So that's due, which reminds me I need to confirm the appointment day. So I need to ring them and do that. Um, so I'm out all day Thursday. So I need to record ahead for Thursday. Uh, sorry, Wednesday. Um, I need to, what else do I need to do? I need to get the stuff done for Patreon launch, which includes recording a video, an extra video than what I'd normally do, and have that ready on Patreon. So that's um, something else I need to do. I need to record ahead for Wednesday. Um, I need to record ahead probably for Friday. I'm anticipating I'll be out Friday. I'm not entirely sure yet, but I'm out most Fridays uh, so that leaves me what six videos including this one that I need to do in three days so if I do two a day and don't have any other days out um, I might get there gosh life is busy and a lot of it's busy in my own making like let's be honest if I didn't want to do this much then I wouldn't but I thoroughly thoroughly love doing videos for you all I love crafting I love sharing ideas um, my ideas others ideas I love learning new ideas uh, playing of course tomorrow's trash craft Tuesday so I'll be playing with some sort of rubbish tomorrow which is super fun right we're almost almost there it's interesting to me I've got two different books here um, but very similar color paper and I think they're both from the 60s one's a children's book and one's a um, teen, teen book so yes I think I've I've kind of rattled on, haven't I? I've just gone, bleh, bleh, bleh. here's my life. <laughs> so I'm sorry if I've just feel like I've been, um, yeah, motor mouth this morning. I'm certainly a lot more relaxed on camera now than what I was when I first started. 
which is quite nice. All right, let's face that the other way. Since this one's sideways as well. Oh, I do love the combination of colours of paper. I think it looks really cool. So I hope you are enjoying this video, um, even though it's, you know, perhaps not so interesting um, in terms of learning anything startlingly new. I don't want so much of that because I think that's the same there. Let's, yep, let's put that over there. This one's quite a thick paper from a novel. So I'm trying to think what else I can tell you about. Um, hmm. Ah, of course, it is Halloween today. I don't celebrate Halloween. Um, my husband and I don't. Um, it's not, not a thing here in New Zealand in the most part, although it's sort of becoming more, more widespread. Um, but it's not part of our culture, not part of our heritage. It's just being adopted from America, which I think is a little bit sad because it's like, you know, find our own things to do, not just adopt things from overseas. That would be my preference. But anyway, I do understand that people um, get excited about it and enjoy it. Um, and that's that's fine. That's totally, if they're into it, I don't have a problem with that. Um, it's just not our thing. But it is Halloween today and it's been pretty difficult at my husband's work um, this year with lots of staff absences, lots of illnesses, uh, COVID and colds and and other personal things going on in people's lives and it's just been really really hard um, and they're short staffed again today they were short staffed at the end of last week so my my hubby my darling hubby is always thinking about others decided he would do something to to try and pick the mood up a little bit and just have some fun at work so he bought himself just really cheap and when I say cheap like really cheap and so not that great but he bought himself a set of vampire teeth <laughs> and, and they're sort of a clearish cloudy plastic um, and they they make him his saliva run full stop and he's not particularly fond of them but he's not going to be wearing them for long and he bought himself a mohawk black wig which actually looks quite good on him, but it makes him look like it's not him at all. It's super funny. So I took photos of him last night because I made him put the put the teeth in and put the wig on, and um, and I took a photo, or a few photos actually. Um, and so he was going to wear that first thing this morning, so that when everyone comes into work, they will see Shane, my darling husband, in these vampire teeth and this mohawk. It's a it's a mohawk but not shaved so like it's like a mullet it's got the long hair at the back short at the sides and then it's got this really sticky up pointy um but that's the mohawk so super funny but yeah it surprised me how how much it changed him it made his face look super long and yeah just hilarious so that's what he's doing just to Pick up the morale a little bit at his work and have a bit of fun with everybody and make them laugh and sort of settle into a, a nice day for a Monday when they're short-staffed. So yeah, so I'd love to be a fly on the wall when they all walk in. Um, so my husband cuts his hair very short on a, I think, not even a number one, like without any combs on the, the cutter. Um, so it's shorn right down because he is bald on top. And um, yeah, so to see him with hair on is, is super funny. So that's his Monday and I look forward to hearing the reports when he comes home of how it went. I don't imagine he's going to wear the get up for that long because yeah, not super comfortable. 
but yeah long enough to to have a few laughs with everybody would be nice and they have uh, at his work they have a, a meeting of everybody a full staff meeting every Monday morning so he will wear it to that meeting which would have already happened by now because it's first thing on a Monday morning right I really need to change out this book page oh, because it's super super gross it's all the ink coming when I put the glue on it's dragging the ink out onto the book page but it was also super sticky which is why I needed to change it right so we're just filling in the last little pieces now and then the cover is going to be done so I won't do the inside on camera I think because it's just more of the same um, but I will how are we going for time yep we've got time I will pause you and go and grab the book uh, and choose the focal image for the front I'll do that on camera because that's probably a little bit more interesting for you to watch than to see me collage the inside of this in the same manner but you'll because you'll see enough of what it's going to look like and, and maybe whether you want to do something similar yourself uh, just by seeing the front so let's pop that one over there so just a couple of uh, three more gaps to go actually do I want to put that one here no let's put it here I think that's the last little edge bit I needed to fill in. Right, so we've just got three little pieces now. Um, this is a different dictionary, slightly larger than the other one. So the text is a little bit larger, so let's use a bit of this. And maybe if I put that there. Oh, now I've gone the opposite direction. I've gone super quiet. All or nothing. Yeah, so I'm trying to think what else you might want to hear about. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I'm expecting to happen I can't think of anything in particular that's super exciting this week um, and that's not because I'm lacking anything going on but yeah not sure what else this week might throw up at me oh that sounds a bit bad doesn't it throw up at me um how can I rephrase that? What else this week might bring my way? That sounds a bit better, doesn't it? So yeah, we shall see what happens. Uh, just as long as I get my videos done and everything I need to launch Patreon, then I think I'll be happy. Because they are the two most important things to me this week. And of course my appointment on Wednesday. I had to put it off. It was supposed to be a month and a half ago. Just when we'd come out of having COVID. Um, so I rang them and says look the timing's not great. Husband had already had um, close to two weeks off work. And he couldn't really go back to work for a day. And then have half a day off again well he could have like they would have been fine but I didn't you know I didn't I wasn't happy with that I thought that wasn't fair um, to him or to the staff so I rang them and got it put off and it's come up so super quick I'm still not really ready for it but I just can't keep putting it off because they are super busy they have a huge waiting list and you know 
it is what it is just got to go get it done so yeah just really would rather have the time at home particularly this week but never mind get it done it's, it's one day out of my life and then I'll move on right that is the whole front done and of course I will ink right around I might do that now just so you can see um, otherwise it looks a little bit funny with the ink on the inside and not around the edges so I'll do that now before I put you on pause for a second and I'll go grab the book right there we go hopefully you can see how that looks it's i think it looks super cool so i'll pop you on pause and i'll be right back right i'm back so this is the book that i am going to choose an image from it's an outdated fine art catalog so um, you go along to a printer and they have the catalogs and you choose what art you want to be printed and get it framed and hang it on your wall so Oops, sorry, I knocked the camera. It is a rather large book, so I'm kind of gingerly juggling it here on my desk. And let's have a look at what image I might like. I'm thinking something sort of quite large-ish. Often the larger images I don't have room for on, you know, within a journal. Um... Yeah, that's, that's really pretty, but the colours, I think, are too close to the book pages. I'll bring something perhaps a little bit more colourful to bring that colour into the cover. And it's, you know, there's some beautiful images. It can be quite hard to choose um, what to use. And so I just want to have a wee flick through, and hopefully you you can enjoy the, the art as well. Um something with a bit of color something that just grabs me and goes yeah i really like that see i like these trees but they're a bit dark i think i want something with a bit of brightness uh, they're pretty birds but again quite dark these birds are quite nice is it too tall it would fit i'll keep those in mind those would fit as well, they're, they're not too wide. So I might just put a book, book page in there to mark that page in case I don't find anything that I like better. These are pretty, but they're too long. I could always trim down, but I'm just looking for something, something that I can use just intact. Now there's some more abstract types. Now these are colourful, but not quite what I'm wanting. Here's some with some gold or, not gold, copper embossing on, or gilding. Here's some gold gilding and some silver gilding on these abstracts. These are really cool, but not quite what I'm sort of vibing for my November journal. It's, please excuse the uh, nudie type ones. Tasteful nodes, but these are nice. That would give me sort of a um, holiday sort of vibe, wouldn't it? And this is the hard part, is you know, if you if you choose one side, it's like, do you like the other side better? Do you mind losing the other side? These are pretty too. They look like grease with the classic white and blue. Well, these are all sort of very holiday vibes. I have not expecting to go anywhere in November, so I don't know. Fruits are fun. Um, I think that's it for this catalog. So it's this or the birds. Oops, birds. Back here. So what do I like best? I wish you could tell me what I should go for. These palm trees or this this one even, either or, or one of these. 
I'm actually thinking these are a bit more brighter, colourful. So, on that basis, not because of anything else other than they are a bit brighter in colour. And I'm going to take the outside one just because it's easier. And then I haven't got a loose image floating around. If I took this one, then I'd have this other bit just floating around, get lost or damaged or something. So I'm just going to make it easy and take that one out. And these have been used by another crafter before me. Uh, and then I ended up with them. So there's, that's pretty too, isn't it? I think this shape works better for my cover. And of course I'm going to end up covering up some of that collage that I've done. That's okay. It's just book page. And it all helps to strengthen the cover, make it thicker. And I will cover this. I'm not sure whether I'm going to use packing tape or cover seal, which is the, the plastic adhesive book cover stuff that you use to cover children's books, uh, exercise books and things. Not sure, but I'll probably do one of those because I want to protect the cover. And I've found that both of those options work really well. Uh, I like the feel of it. That's really nice protection uh, from dirt and accidental coffee splashes or things like that. Um, so yeah, I'll do one of those. But again, I did that. Pretty sure I did that in last... In the... Um, in the video where I made the journals for this month so I won't do that on camera either but if you if you want to see it again or if you haven't seen it or can't find it then let me know and I can certainly do something like that on camera again um, not a problem yeah so that would be lovely but I think I just like the way this sits because my spine's here just like the way that sits within that so I think that glue is going to be dry enough and I'll do that off camera as I said before I'll finish up the inside and I need to do that before I cover the outside that paper has cracked it a little bit along the spine and that's another good reason for um, doing the the cover the plastic cover or the tape on the outside because it won't matter it'll help hold it together and it will stop any further tearing so that's not a big issue for me and I'm not going to ink around this uh, one because it's shiny and it is going to smear if I do that uh, but I think I'm just going to let it stand alone like that and I'm going to use some of my uh, craft glue this is an alcohol based one and I find it doesn't wrinkle the paper so much as the likes of the tacky glue. This is quite a heavy, um, good quality paper, so it probably wouldn't wrinkle. But I just, yeah, for some things I just like this alcohol-based glue better. And it dries really quickly as well. So you've got to get placement uh, fairly, fairly well first time. Um, you don't have a lot of options. For replacing you know so for some things it's not ideal because you want the ability to play around with placement but this will be fine doesn't have to be perfect it's just my journal glue on my fingers and there we go just like that so now all I need to do is add a label To put November 2022 on it so I'm going to use one of my printable labels uh, these are available on Etsy or there is a limited selection of them available on in my Facebook group as a freebie um, they're watercolor background with hand-drawn decorations lines whatever no too many lines on that one for this on a plain one maybe more colorful one do we want to bring in a pink no there's red there so we don't want pink now this one's a bit more pink anyway so I'm just trying to choose one that sort of I 
I like that one. It says fun. It's got fun at each end, so let's go with that one. Whoops. Oh, thumbs and fingers. Right. So grab a pen. Um, somewhere around here on my desk, which I've buried somewhere, is my pit pen. Yep, this one. Um, have I got room to write it all? I think we can make it work. Oh, bother. I'm busy writing October. Aha! It needs to be November. Okay, thank goodness it's a printable. I can just reprint these whenever I need to. So let's choose another one. I wonder if I've got another copy of that one. Maybe just this plain one. Let's go with that one. It'll give me more room. Okay, let's try this again and write the correct month. So we need November. I'm glad I caught that before I'd um, finished it and stuck it down. Not the end of the world though, I'd just do another one and glue it over top. I mean, everything is fixable, but yeah. November 2022. Gosh, barreling towards the end of another year. I can't believe it, really. Okay, so I'm just going to stick that up there in the top corner. And I'm not going to ink this either. I don't think it necessarily needs it. There we go. Perfect. I think that's fun. I really love that look. I think it works really, really well. Uh, and will make a, a nice point of difference on my journal covers. So there we go. If you'd like to see this complete, I will be sharing photos of it um, on Instagram once it's all complete and ready to go for tomorrow. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this video, did some crafting along with me and um, didn't mind me rattling on about what's going on for me at the moment. So I shall see you in the next video. Have a great day everybody. Bye for now.